In this part, we have to deal with Boolean algebra problems appeared in GATE 2004 exam. In the first problem, the Boolean expression AC or BC complement is given and we have to find out equivalent of this Boolean expression. The given Boolean expression is A and C or B and C complement. This expression is minimal, minimal SOP form the minimal sum of products form and we have to find out canonical or standard SOP form. I will explain how we can obtain canonical or standard SOP form from minimal SOP form. A and C or B and C complement can be written as A and C and 1, B and C complement and 1. In this first term A is present, C is present and B is absent. In this second term B is present, C is present in complemented form and A is absent. I will write I will write B or B complement in place of 1 because B is absent and I will write A or A complement in place of this one because A is absent. And when you open these two brackets, you will have canonical or standard SOP form. So let's do this quickly. A, C, B or A, C, B complement or A, B, C complement or A complement, B, C complement. And uh, when you see the options, you will find option D is the correct option for the first problem. We have A, B, C. We have A complement, B, C complement, A complement, B, C complement, A, B, C complement, A, B, C complement and A, this is A, B complement C. This is A, B complement C. We have A, B complement C. So option D is the correct option. Now we will move to the second problem. The second problem is also taken from the same paper. First I will read the problem then we will solve it. A boolean function f of two variables x and y, x and y are the two variables for the boolean function f, defined as follows. f is equal to 1 when x and y are 0, 0, when x and y are 0, 1, when x and y are 1, 1, and f is equal to 0 when x is 1 and y is 0. This is given in the problem. Assuming complements of x and y are not available x complement and y complement are not available a minimum cost solution for realizing f using two input nor gates and two input or gates each having unit cost would have total cost of this is very interesting problem and it is very easy first thing we have to do is to draw the truth table is to draw the truth table for f the two variables are x and y. f is the output. When x and y are 0, 0, output is 1. When x and y are 0, 1, output is 1. For 0, 1, output is 1. When x and y are 1, 1, when x and y are 1, 1, output is 1. And when x and y are 1, 0, 1, 0, output is 0. Now we will use this truth table to find out logical expression of f. f is high for three cases. For the first case, x is 0, y is 0. So I will write x complement, y complement. For the second case, x is 0, y is 1. So I will write x complement, y. And for the last case, both x and y are 1. So we have x, y. Now we will minimize it by using the Boolean algebra. From the first two terms, x complement is common so we have y complement or y inside the bracket y complement or y is equal to 1 so we have x complement or x y by using the distributive law I can write x complement or x and x complement or y x complement or x is equal to 1 so we have x complement or y. This is the minimized expression for f and now we will try to implement this. We will try to implement this by using two input, two input NOR gate and two input 
2 input or gate and the cost of 2 input nor gate is 1 unit cost of 2 input or gate is also equal to 1 unit first I will try to implement x complement because complements of x and y are not available and we already know how to obtain the complement using the nor gate the two inputs are same and they are equal to x so the output is equal to x complement now we require two input or gate in which the first input is x complement and the second input is y this is our two input or gate and the output of this or gate is equal to function f x complement or y and we can easily estimate the cost of this circuit one unit for the NOR gate and one unit for the OR gate 1 plus 1 is 2 units so option D is the correct option this is all for this lecture see you in the next one